Welcome aboard, Shepard. So where are we going? Activating external cameras. I didn't know this shuttle had virtual windows. Bet there's more you don't know about this bird. What's that supposed to mean? Before Mass Effect fields, there was no such thing as inertial dampeners. Yeah? Here, feel this. Whoa! That, my friend, is unadulterated momentum. Wanna really feel it? Show me. See? Doesn't take much to pull a few G's. Back in the day, pilots would wear G-suits. It squeezes your body so that the blood stays in your head in tight maneuvers. I'd wear a G-suit when flying my trident. In a fighter, it's common to transfer power from the inertial dampeners to other systems. You miss flying fighters? Can't imagine you're too thrilled to be flying a shuttle. Hell no. I'm not just any shuttle pilot. I'm your shuttle pilot. Wouldn't have it any other way. When you're on the ground, weapon in hand, you're invincible. But when we're approaching an LZ, you're just another soldier. Vulnerable. Nothing you can do if we're shot down. Getting you to the ground alive is a responsibility I wouldn't trust to anyone else. I'm fortunate to have you, Steve. Anytime, Shepard. Glad you can make it. I've got us set up. Ladies and gentlemen, it's combat night in the Armax Arsenal Arena. Five, four, three, two, one. you until candy comes out.
Fennec, hit the comm. Tiana, distract the bouncer. Birch, you take the vault. Avoid the thermal sensors. They trigger the lockdown. You'll hit motion sensors, and that'll alert security. Verk, steal a uniform. You go in as security, fake the arrest. Whoops, I seem to have the wrong casino. Kasumi? <sighs> Take a walk, guys. I can explain. I believe I hired you because you were the best damn thief in the galaxy. Sweet talker. Are you hard up for credits, or is this just to stay in practice? People who can't get to the Citadel are having a rough time out there. This place has more money than it knows what to do with. It can help those refugees survive. And it's not like the owner can spend it if the Reapers win. So you're robbing the rich to help the poor? I'm doing what I do. Raiding Cerberus bases and infiltrating Reaper-held locations is fun. But I'm a thief. Stealing? It's who I am. Without it, I... By the way, are you gonna call security? Just don't get caught, okay? Hey, come on. I never get caught. Come on, guys. Show's on. Excuse me, is there a problem? No. No problem at all. here when Cerberus attacked, and I don't remember seeing you. I think I caught a glimpse of Commander Shepard fighting over by the elevator bay, though. Well, yeah, Shepard was protecting the Council, but I had my own problems to deal with. You see, I was down by the docking bay near CSEC headquarters. Ha-ha! <laughs> Commander Shepard is chasing the Council! This is our chance! Oh shit! Cerberus! Ha ha ha! It's Joker! He can barely walk! How's he going to stop us? <laughs> like this. It's joking time. Underestimate Joker, oh no! Yes, you were. Ah! That's right, you just landed on the island of Dr. Me! That's pretty much how it happened, which is why you should comp my drinks. No. Aw, oh, come on! I barely believe what they're saying about Shepard. You? I don't think so. Okay, trying not to be offended there. Look, if Shepard were here... Uh, Shepard! Hi! I'm Commander Shepard, and I'll vouch for my pilot. Jeff Moreau is a hero. Everyone in this room owes him their lives, myself included. I'm so sorry, Commander. I had no idea. Drinks are on me, Lieutenant. Ah. Uh, thanks, Commander. You can pay me back later. Hey, Shepard, over here. Thanks for coming by. Good to see you. What's up? Out for a little R&R. &R. You? 
Exactly, same thing. Hey, Jacob, I'm out of credits. Who are they? Their parents are MIA, volunteered to take them on for the weekend, get their minds off things. What about us, Shepard? There's got to be a game of skill in there with our names on it. Let's do it. Great. This is your game of skill? Now, Shepard, I'll try not to embarrass you. Really? Trash talk? At Shattered Ezo? Hell yeah, my pride is on the line. Also, these kids look up to me, so I have to take you down. You're gonna take me down? I don't think so. Well, step up, Shepard. Although it might be tough not having your squad to carry you. You're on. No pressure, Shepard. These people already idolize you. So when you choke, it won't matter. You're crowding me. Am I? My bad. Stand back, everyone. Shepard needs extra room to make the magic happen. Ready? Let's do this. Glad none of your friends are here to see your humiliation. Yes! That all you got? Check it out, Shepard. Feel that? That's the feeling of doom. Never mind. I got this. Boom! Killed it! Yeah! Jacob wins! Not my day. Congrats, Jacob. Ah, you probably let me win. Come on, Shepard. Let's grab some food. I'm buying. Rex? What are you doing here? Escaping. Ever since we cured the genophage, it's been nothing but work. Council been riding you? Bah! Not those Pajak shit slingers. No, it's the. It's the female shepherd. Now that they're fertile again. Oh, I haven't slept in. I don't know how long. Can I get you two anything? Two more drinks, and another bag of ice. I would have thought you'd be enjoying the perks of Krogan fertility. Enjoying it? There's a line of females outside my dwelling right now. It stretches on for as far as you can see. I had to sneak out my own bathroom window. Even then, I was cornered by two more females on the ride from Tuchonka. And it's just you? They're not spreading the love around? Sure, but everyone wants their firstborn in generations to be strong and fit. I'm the leader of Clan Erdnot. I brought an end to the genophage. Everyone on Tuchanka wants a piece of me. And Bakar is no help at all. She encourages it. I'm telling you, Shepard, I'm in no shape to fight Reapers. Considering everything we've been through, I can think of worse positions to be in. Trust me. I've been in every position in the past few days. Here are your drinks. And a bag of ice. Mm. And I thought Morden's procedure was painful. Oh well. <laughs> Shepard. We sure have been through it, haven't we? Still going through it. <laughs> True. Well, here's to us. And to going through it. I'll drink to that. Corbal! That means victory or death, roughly. Ah, but you can't die, Rex. You've got a family now. A really big family. 
Later, that same ex server's vanguard picks up a battle. Officer, someone requested my presence concerning an incident with the Krogan? Right this way, Commander. So, Grunt, anything you want to tell me about? Uh, this clown wants to take me to lockup. Figured I'd give you a call. Straighten this out. Commander Shepard, I apologize for the intrusion. This Krogan insisted we contact you. It's okay. I'll vouch for him. I'll sign any paperwork you have, officer. Yes, sir. What happened? I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. But you were in that hospital recovering from the Ragnai encounter. Yeah, didn't feel like sticking around. Most people stick around long enough to, you know, heal. Most people aren't me. And why is CSEC here? Guess they're precious about some broken glass. Before I sign you out, everybody walked away from this in one piece, right? Sure, yeah, everybody's fine. Hospital seen better days, though. <laughs> right. Tell me about the windows. A couple of squad mates broke me out for my birthday, tried lowering me down the side of the building on a rope. It didn't work out. It's your birthday? No, I'm tank bread, remember? Anyway, we got some pictures on the Krogan Memorial. In the Presidium? Yeah, when CSEC got there, they were mad. Or maybe they were mad about their car being on fire. I can't remember. Why was it on fire? I threw my bottle of ring call at it. Pretty strong stuff. <laughs> Went up like a bonfire. The CSEC guys jumped out. Then I figured they didn't want it, so I took it. We didn't get very far before they shut us down. Sprayed us down with riot foam. <laughs> didn't work so well on me. And why is that? Because I was on fire. You know, from the car. Come on, Shepard, keep up. Right. Sorry. So how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. Grunt, you apologize to the nice man for setting his car on fire. Fine. I'm sorry for setting your car on fire. And I won't do it again. Good. Now, officer, I can pay for any damages that may have occurred. That's what you've been signing for, Commander. You're lucky, Krogan. Don't let me catch you up here again. You won't. Thank you, officer. So... How were those noodles? A little spicy. You're my hero, Grunt. <laughs> Shepard. I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Shopping? I, I guess we could. Did you have the place in mind? Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. Jeff has lent me his credit chit on the condition that I enjoy myself and quote, live it up like a girly girl. <laughs> you don't have money of your own? I am not formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime, but that would look bad on a resume. We'll get you your own funds sometime. But today, what's first? I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? Start with something both of you can enjoy. What do you do together? 
We interact most closely when we are flying. It occurs to me that he does not have a sky car for traveling around the Presidium. Here, the 2187 Blackout has a top speed of 650 kilometers per hour, making it the most powerful sports sky car in its class. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. Five-year warranty? Replacement parts? No, wait! I fail to see what is wrong. When you buy someone a present, it's best not to bankrupt them. You want to rent it. I see. Perhaps for a day or a weekend, then. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. Um, are we getting married? No. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each council homeworld. Each metal compounds with the last, making the rings stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. Rare is nice. Unique is better. Are you... valuing me? It's the thought that counts. And you had a good one. I have heard that expression. That's why I recorded a resonance map of my quantum bit arrays when I had the idea. If you read my extensive log files and extrapolate from my nitrogen vacancy centers, you can visualize the thought precisely. That's a long way for a joke, Edie. Did I have you for a few seconds there? Not even close. Who's next? I was thinking of something for Liara. Hey, Shepard, I'm starving. What do you got? We're heading out, Caden. I'm so tired of Apollos. I'm gonna cook. Oh, no. Really? <laughs> Come on! You want me to sit there and watch you cook? <laughs> you're not watching me cook. You're helping me drink beer. Now sit your ass down. What are we having? Canadian delicacy of some sort? Uh, sure. Exactly. We have, uh, beef, we have bacon, we have beer. The foods of my people. Wish me luck. If you need luck to cook us dinner, we're screwed. Screwed? Oh, you hurt me, Shepard. Relax. It's gonna be great. Guess we'll find out. So, remember how I saved the Citadel? And then, well, you weren't there. I survived a suicide mission? All these close calls I've had, only to be taken out by dinner. Can it at least be quick and painless? <sighs> Funny. You think I hauled your butt out of the fire all those times just to poison you here now? I just took down my clone. I gotta figure anything's possible. Ah. Uh. Do we have hot sauce? That was great. Still waiting for the botulism to kick in. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Actually, it was pretty good. I'm impressed. Thank you. I'm an enigma. I've got skills. I mean, for example, fist fight, me and James, and I'd win, right? And what if I fought dirty? Hey, got any plans for the evening? No. I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. You remember that line from Fleet and Flotilla? Shalai and Bellicus on the balcony? I don't think I've ever seen that, did. What? You've never? How could you not have? Well, I know what we're doing tonight. But Shalai, we can never be together. I have my duty. 
tonight. Tonight, and as free as the dust in the solar wind. So you've watched this a lot, huh? Every time my friends and I had a sleepover. Kila. So many feelings. Yeah, it's, uh... Yeah. Definitely. When this is done, I'll send you links to extranet sites with some captioned animations. I want you to see behind this mask. I want you to see who I truly am. I already have. She had an infection for three weeks after filming this scene. Totally worth it. You sure you want to leave that here? I can't very well bring it back to the Normandy. I'd have nowhere to put it. This place is amazing. Puts the prefabs back on Horizon to shame. And it has a hot tub. Go ahead. Cheers! Oh, this is lovely. And good for the sinuses. I might not even need my antihistamine tonight. Your what? It's a pill. I'm allergic to dust and cats. And public speaking. I take a proton pump inhibitor for my stomach, too. And an inhaler for asthma. Do you have everything you need to stay healthy? Just about. The only medication I can't find is sucrocapsinol. My family doctor prescribed it for my headaches. Sucrocapsinol? That's a sugar pill, trainer. A placebo. Oh, that sneaky bastard. And now that you've told me, it probably wouldn't work anyway. There was some scented bath oil out there somewhere. Could you grab it? Yeah. Here you go. Thanks. Eyes are over here and up here. <laughs> hey, do you have a loofah? A loofah. This is Anderson's apartment, remember? I highly doubt he has a... Found one! Somebody left an overnight bag with toiletries and massage oils and... You know, girly stuff. Do you know who Kay Sanders is? She has great taste in adjustable massage ones. We are gathered here to honor the life of Thane Krios. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The Counselor knew him as a hero. The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms, and others as a father devoted to his son. Though his life took him to very dark places, Thane cared for the better angels of our nature. Even when he was terminally ill, he ran through war-torn streets to reach me because he knew I needed help. You all know the results of that day. An assassin, a professional criminal, gave his life for his galaxy. And now he can rest. Would anyone else like to speak? What I remember about Thane was his confidence. He told me once about how he remembered everything, even every mistake he made. If I did that, I'd be a nervous wreck. Thane kept it under control. It's strange, but the last word I label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. Thane's last stand was important, but let us also remember why Thane left the Normandy. To keep his son away from a life of crime. Deeds such as these do not go unnoticed by the universe. They echo in all who hear them. That is why I am here. Thane took himself seriously, a trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. 
but what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Thane was turning his life around in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Kolyat, do you, uh... When I was little, I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways, said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. I don't know if I'll be as philosophical about it. It's still kind of raw. I understand. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the counselor. But what? He is feeling grateful, and I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel syndrome, it would be them. If you need someone to hold the counselor's feet to a fire, I'm there. I appreciate the offer, but Counselor Valorn has recently orated about funding science during wartime. My odds are good. Oh, before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions, and I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander. Shepard, I suppose I should thank you for my freedom. Leaving the Normandy was the right decision. It was saddening to see our crew go their separate ways. But it is better than answering questions in an Alliance interrogation room. I hope this message finds you well. As for me, I have moved into an apartment on the Citadel not far from Kolyat. I think the first attack I had frightened him. I will spare you the details. It seemed very dramatic at the time. But in comparison to the Omega Relay, it was a child's game. In any case, good luck getting the Alliance to listen to you. Let's keep in touch. Shepard, if you sent a message back, I didn't get it. I suppose communications from someone of my reputation would be restricted. The irony is, I am a danger to no one these days. I am even paying taxes on my investments. I can't expect Kolyat to do so if I don't. He is doing better. He has no significant other, and he is temperamental. But he is employed and staying out of crime. I can tell he is serious about changing. It has cost him more than a few friends. Send something back if you can, Shepard. I can only learn so much from news reports about you. I have tried a false identity to try to get this message through to you. 
We'll see if it works. I have good news and bad. The good news is that Kolyat and I took a few days to visit Earth. Light the shade of her eyes. Trill sound of chirping stops. I scan the ground. See two tiny bodies locked by claws. Excuse me. As I was saying, we saw a beautiful sunset in New Mexico and a scorpion eating a cricket. I wish you could have joined us. The bad news is, I had... I fainted and struck my head. Kolyat has convinced me to stay at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. I will be there from now on. I still don't want to die in a hospital, but it's where the doctors are. And Kolyat. I love him. That means I must trust him. Goodbye, Shepard. Let me say that now, in case I cannot later. Sorry we're late. Somebody forgot to pick up the cerveza. Come on in. That somebody was you. Didn't say it was. So when's the game? It's about to start. Seattle Sorcerers versus Usaru Maestros. Gonna be some intense by out of all. Nah, it's just a goodwill game for troop morale. They'll take it easy. In the middle of a war with their troops watching, they'll give it their all. Absolutely. Have you guys seen Derek Rogers' game lately? Man, he and the Sorcerers have been tearing it up. Esteban, the Maestros don't lose. Have you seen Tyra Tassanis play? The woman is blue lightning. Mr. Vega, your love of the Asari team has more to do with how they look than how they play. Hey, that's not true. Not entirely. Besides, you telling me you don't got the hots for some of the Sorcerers? Okay, okay. Guilty as charged. Who are you backing, Shepard? I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Uh, the Seattle Sorcerers are one of the few human b-ball teams left. I mean, they were on tour when Earth was hit. Since acquiring Donna Novotny from the Hackers, they've been completely unstoppable. Yeah, but most of the Maestros have been playing since before First Contact. They'll win this. I know the Sorcerers have never beaten the Maestros, but they've never been this hungry either. So, Chef, who's it gonna be? How do you bet against a team that's been playing since before we were born? Listen up, Esteban. Shepard's preaching the wisdom. <sighs> Come on, the game's starting. Merda, he was out! You're blind, ref! Yes, they did it! Don't be so smug. Pay up. Wait, Steve picked the winner. Why is he paying? We weren't exactly betting on who'd win. We were betting on if you'd pick the winner. And you spend all your luck in the battlefield, Commander. Simple math. Anyway, it was a hell of a game. Yeah, great evening. Thank you, Shepard. My pleasure. Tomorrow comes early. Hasta luego. Clean up well, Shepard. Thought we might try an evening out. Sounds like you have some time to catch your breath. I do, just not used to it. Feeling a bit lost. <laughs> it's kind of sad, really. I got to thinking we needed a break. No point saving the galaxy if we can't enjoy it once in a while. I have to say I'm a bit surprised. I thought you might be. I can be, uh, 
severe. You're focused. Believe me, I understand. I was thinking about our talk earlier, about having a normal life. good at this. Truth is, Shepard, I'm not very good at being normal either. Bit of a disaster, really. I get it. We just need a little practice. Any ideas? Look around you. It's a room full of great ideas. Here? It's nothing but alcohol, gambling, and wasting time. Right. Need more wine. Bring the lady more wine. Oh, God. I'm gonna regret this. We're just friends out on the town. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Come on, partner. Let's start some trouble. What? A private cabin on a stealth warship isn't enough for you? I'm watching the place for a friend. What are you doing? Calling Izo. Izo? <laughs> yeah, he's from Thessia. Naturally biotic from all the element zero. The biotics make them short-tempered, so a lot of them get abused or abandoned. Can you imagine someone doing that? I found him at a rescue place. I'm trying to teach him that it's okay to trust people. He started out really angry, but I've been giving him lots of love, and now he's a big old softy. <laughs> what? He seems like a good pet. Yeah. Who's my badass biotic? Mm, who's my badass biotic? <laughs> I came as quickly as I could. What's wrong? I didn't mean to worry you. When I saw you were on the Citadel, I wanted to see you again. We've said our farewells, Shepard. Are we gonna stand on formalities? These big picture windows remind me of our talks in the Normandy's observation lounge. This view doesn't have quite the same effect as a galaxy of stars. But I can see where it might make one sentimental. I also enjoyed our talks, Shepard. Very much. Hey, look what I found. An old issue of Justicar Heroes, May 2140. It says that you personally lifted 50 refugees across a raging floodplain on Nebos after smugglers blew up a dam. That news source has been known to exaggerate. So you didn't almost drown while saving a child who had been torn from her mother's grasp? The smugglers were not so lucky that I survived. Are there more stories like this? Perhaps. You might be amused by the June 2085 issue, Justicar Samara, Cold-Blooded Justice Runs Hot. It is not so difficult for me to find stories of your exploits. I think that you are remarkable, Shepard. When the vids sing your praises and call you a hero, does it make you blush? Do you agree? What do you feel? It's humbling. But honestly, if people feel that I'm making a difference, that bolsters me, my team, and our efforts. What now? I am content as we are, Shepard. Let us sit a while longer. Even if there is nothing to say. You can turn those dampeners back on any time. Okay, okay. Doesn't take much to pull a few G's, and we don't want to paint the windows with your breakfast, right? Well, I might trust Joker to do the job. Oh, that hurts, Shep. Moreau can fly a frigate, I'll give him that, but give him something with real maneuverability? Come on. Okay, trying not to be offended there. Look, if Shepard were here... Uh, Shepard! Hi! <laughs> Joker, you are a great pilot and a terrible liar. 
<laughs> you don't say. You know, there's a bond, Shepard. A wordless bond of loyalty between commander and pilot. And today... Today, you pay for your own drinks. <laughs> Fine. If this food poisons me, I'll have you sorting widgets with Adams for a month. Noted. Plus, I'll kick your ass. Relax. It's gonna be great. I'm messing with you, Kay. Can I call you, Kay? No. I didn't think so. See? Sensitive. Or maybe you're being an ass. Major, did you just call your CO an ass? No. I called my friend an ass. Talk about sensitive. <laughs> Seriously? This one awards? My friends and I watched this vid every time we had a sleepover. Do not ruin it for me. I want you to see behind this mask. I want you to see who I truly am. Bring it on, Taylor. Let's see what you've got. That was pitiful, Taylor. Just, well, incompetent, really. You couldn't just let me win just once? Come on, Shepard. Let's grab some food. I'm buying. I thought you were working on the Crucible. You know, saving the galaxy. We get shore leave. Which you spend robbing casinos. People who can't get to the Citadel are having a rough time out there. Aren't you in charge? They could at least hold off until after the war. You've never been stalked by a fertile Krogan female, Shepard. There is no holding off, just... Holding. I didn't realize people still had conditions like that. No offense. None taken. My body's just this inconvenient thing I used to carry my mind around. The colony where I grew up has limited resources. You only get gene therapy if you have a life-threatening condition. With Earth and Thessia both occupied, how could they stay focused on a game? Uh, you haven't seen Derek Rogers' game lately. Man, he and the sorcerers have been tearing it up. Esteban, the maestros don't lose. Have you seen Tyra Tassanis play? The woman Mr. Vega, your love of the Asari team has... Hey, that's not true. Okay, okay, guilty as charged. Who are you backing, Shepard? You don't bet against the home team. Mr. Vega, I hope you're hungry for humble pie. When has our commander ever been wrong? Yeah. Yes! They did it! Now pay up. Hey, why didn't you let me in on the betting? We weren't exactly betting on who'd win. We were betting on if you'd pick the winner. And everyone knows you don't bet against Shepard. Anyway, it was a hell of a game. Yeah, great evening. Thank you, Shepard. My pleasure. Tomorrow comes early. Hasta luego. I'd go with something he's actually going to use a few times before the galaxy ends. I see. It does concern me that he is susceptible to bodily harm. Because of his bones? No, because he doesn't have 30 centimeters of reactive armor plating. The Normandy's crew have very few integral defenses. You know, the first step in appropriate gift-giving is not to think of the recipient as a mortal sack of meat. I'm sorry. My defense intelligence programming took the discussion in inappropriate directions. I should sublimate. What about a lower back support for his chair? There are some that heat and cool. Sold. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. Um, are we getting married? No. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each. Each metal compounds with the last, making the rings stronger. He calls them victory rings. That's thoughtful, lady. But we're not supposed to wear fancy jewelry with the uniform. Some soldiers put rings on the chain of their identification tags. I can do that. One condition, though. I'll give it back to you when we win. No, that seems inappropriate. It doesn't solely represent my hope. It's that of many different planets. It should stay with you. What should we do to take our minds off things for a couple of hours? Let's watch people. 
Jester cars must have keen powers of perception. Testing them can be fun. Really? Yes. For example, the Turian there. The one limping. What do you suppose his story is? Injured in military service, probably. Except he doesn't wear it like a badge of honor. He seems ashamed. Whatever happened, I would guess he's an outcast. What about the two Volus? The ones whispering? What's in the case? They're related. Brothers, but also business partners. The one on the left is a drunk and has put the family fortune in jeopardy through risky business dealings. But now the Blue Sons have kidnapped his wife. His brother has brought the ransom. 2.3 million credits. You can see all that? No, I made it up. You see? Fun. Okay. The Alcor with the umbrella. Go. Too easy, Shepard. What about me, then? Too difficult. Let me handle this. Officer, this Krogan is part of a secret Spectre task force. Operation... Fire... Cobra Claw. Operation Fire Cobra Claw? That's right. I can take it from here. Send me the bill for any damages. That's what you've been signing for, Commander. You're lucky, Krogan. Don't let me catch you up here again. You picked a good spot to unwind. Any ideas? A few. I'll probably need a bit of a push. A push? I was thinking about our talk earlier. About having a normal life. Oh. Any ideas? The only difference between us and everyone else is that our to-do list is longer. We need to let that go tonight. Let it go? That's harder than it sounds. I know. But this is the perfect place to try. Here? It's nothing but alcohol, gambling, and wasting time. Right. Need more wine. Bring the lady more wine. Oh, God. I'm gonna regret this. Come on, partner. Let's start some trouble. Seriously, I have the credits to fund a joint venture here. Fine. You know what? 